Hello YouTube and welcome to your second second Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 Express tutorial and in this tutorial we will be covering variables so let's go ahead and get started go to file new project win32 console application and we'll name it variables YouTube you don't have to name it YouTube I just uh, name it YouTube so that I know what the project is for so um, win32 console application click OK next empty project and finish and just like before in tutorial 1 go down to source files right click add new item a C++ file file or .cpp and we'll just name it variables add ok so now we have variables.cpp open and always remember to include pound include IO stream and we're also going to pound include conio.h because we'll be using the get character and using namespace std so go ahead and create your main function and add the brackets and we'll go ahead and start coding so to declare a variable in C++ it's a lot easier than .NET and um, if you're wondering why I'm referencing .NET so much in these tutorials um, that is because I make a lot of .NET tutorials and some of my viewers learn that language so um, this just helps them learn C++ better when I explain it um, relative to .NET. So in .NET you would declare a variable by typing dim um, username as new string and that's how you would do it but it's a lot easier in C++ so to, to declare a variable in C++ you just type the type that it is there's integer double boolean well it's not boolean it's just bool um, string and then there's character so to use string um, I think you have to pound include pound include c type but um, I'm not sure Uh, let's see, C type. Okay, I've been using Visual C++ 2008, so it's a little different. So pound includes C type dot h, and then you can make a string. Um, so we'll we'll just start off with an integer. We'll name it int uh, we'll num one, just for the sake of the tutorial. We'll go down, and we'll set num one is equal to I don't know four. And then we'll go ahead and display that on the screen. Num1. And then can't forget the git character so the program doesn't close out right away. Go ahead and build it. And you can see it outputs num1 on the screen. So you can also you can also add that variable from the C out you can add it to a a string I forgot what the name of the string is called um, I wanna say it's called like an absolute string but um, I'm not sure like in the last tutorial we typed hello YouTube and um, that string it's a string that we display but it's not stored in any variables so it's just used for that one instance so um, if you guys know what that's called go ahead and comment it down in the bottom I don't know what it's called but um, you can add that to variables in your C out. So um, if you don't understand, I'll go ahead and type it out, and then it should be easier. So we'll just type num1 is equal to num1. And then we'll just go ahead and add an exclamation point. So what we did is we did C out and then it displays this string right here 
and then right after that string it displays num1 on the same line and then uh, an exclamation point after that and then we can go ahead and end the line so what in the in line does is basically it ends the line and whatever you if you type C out again it goes down to the line underneath it instead of on the same line so if we go ahead and run this it says num1 is equal to 4 so we'll just do a simple C in so that the person can declare uh, what the variable is going to be um, what the value of the variable variable is going to be. Now, if you're if you're brand new to coding, uh, this might be a little difficult for you. But if you watch my Visual Basic tutorials, then um, this should be quite simple, which is why I'm adding it to this tutorial. So, we'll just go ahead and see out um, what is your favorite number go ahead and in the line no 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 hold on we'll add a colon and that and to get the text on a line you just type C in so instead of C out saying something it's just C in because the user's going to type something in you know, C in and you use the greater than sign instead of the less than sign um, which is different from C out we'll do C in num1 and then uh, we'll just go ahead and end the line here so basically what's happened so far is we've asked the person what their favorite number is and they typed in their favorite number and we ended the line so whatever we um, whatever we see out after this it will be on the line underneath it so let's go ahead and see out uh, see out wow and then num1 is my favorite number 2 and then we'll go ahead and end the line so I'll go ahead and run this come back and explain one more time and then the tutorial will be over so it says what is your favorite number let's say the person types in 54 and then it says, wow, 54 is my favorite number, too. So, now I'll just leave this open right here. You can see we started off by declaring num1, the, the variable. And we set it equal to 4. We don't have to do that. When we ask the person what um, their favorite number is and they're going to type it in, we don't have to include that. It'll run just the same uh, without that line of code right there. And we see out it what is your favorite number and then C in num1 so they typed in a number and it was stored in the variable num1 and we went ahead and ended the line um, when you see in it go, it'll go ahead and end the line for you but we just ended the line so it would skip a line and look a little bit cleaner and then uh, C out wow and then we displayed num1 which is what they typed in and we said num1 is my favorite number 2 and then ended the line and get character to keep the program from closing right after that so just to um, show you that it'll run without num1 equals 4 just run it again uh, what is your favorite number? I'll just type in a bunch of random numbers wow and then something went wrong there because um, integers can only store so, store so many places um, just ignore that because uh, you can see that it still runs and um, we do not need to include ctype.h because we didn't use a string um, I'll go over that in a later tutorial so thanks for watching don't forget to comment like and subscribe